Hello, my name is James Beal, co-founder and managing partner of National Glazing Solutions LLC, a national leader in the window film industry. My objective today is to educate safety and security professionals about the proper use of safety films and attachment systems for forced entry mitigation on schools and buildings. We've got a lot to show you today, including actual attachment systems and a live forced entry simulation so you can see how these systems perform when properly applied to different window systems and doors. So come on in and check it out. When it comes to hardening a building envelope, glass is typically the Achilles heel or weak link. That's why most security and public safety officials, including even more recently the Sandy Hook Advisory Commission, recommend applying at least a safety security film, something like this material here, on glass to protect against forced entry at schools and other buildings. This is why it's critical that you understand the proper safety film and attachment systems that apply to doors and windows. The common mistake is that you can apply one of these attachment systems across the board to all doors and windows. Not true. Let me show you. This is an attachment system for a window, which is a Dow Corning chemical and structural bonding adhesive that typically comes in a sausage like this that we, that we tape and tool to a perfect specification for forced entry, bomb blast, and storm mitigation. You see how, I don't know if you can see how close and how perfect that looks. It looks like an extruded rubber gasket. So that's typically what we do for a 90 degree angled window. And what we have here for doors is a Z profile called Gullwing from one of our manufacturer partners, Matico, who we've partnered with to develop TriShield, our proprietary forced entry uh, system for glass and doors, which you'll see in action as we go over to the Smash Lab. This is applied with double-sided tape that we apply on here and on this side of the profile to anchor to the door. And we'll show you a little bit more in detail how that sits on the 45 angle uh, door gasket. This right here has nothing to do with attachment systems, but this is a critical part of us showing you this simulated forced entry from an active shooter. And we're gonna take the butt and we're gonna jam this against the, the glass over there. And we're gonna try to see how well that system performs against a simulated forced entry attempt. So let's go take a look. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about suitable attachment systems for doors. This is critical because most of the forced entry events that we see typically occur through doors and the average forced entry event occurs in under a minute. So it's critical that your film and your glass are anchored to the door. You don't have a 90 degree angle. You have this, you have this pressure molding that slides into the door here. This is on a 45 degree angle. We can't put enough caulk on there and trowel it to get a suitable bead or a bond. That's why we use the Matico Gullwing Large Z Profile as part of the TriShield safety and security system for doors. The reason being is you have this high bond tape and what you do is you essentially, essentially pull, the, uh, pull the liner off back here and I'm not gonna do it on, on this side but you wanna basically make sure that the this side of the tape is fully seated on the glass like so. We then have this pressure applicator but once it's sitting on there, you can take it and make sure that you get all the air and get the pressure down on there properly. Once that's seated, you can, then, you can then fold this back, pull the liner off of the frame side, lay it back down, and then repeat with the pressure applicator like, like so. It's important to note that this also comes in multiple different colors so that you can get a, an anodized aluminum extrusion so it blends in. We kept it black so you could see it on the door. Welcome to the NGS Smash Lab. This is where we're gonna simulate a forced entry attempt utilizing a blunt object and the butt of a rifle, similar to something you'd see with an active shooter scenario at a school or a retail location. And to facilitate this, we basically set up a few windows with some safety film and attachment systems to show you what it might look like. This particular window here actually has no safety film or attachment, but this is a quarter inch tempered piece of glass in an aluminum frame, very common in schools and storefront window assemblies. Over here, we have the same window size, same window type, quarter inch tempered glass, aluminum frame, but this has tri-shield installed on it with a wet glaze attachment system. Here we have a standard storefront commercial door, very common, call near, pressure gaskets. We have safety film installed on both sides, no attachment system because you typically can't install an attachment system on these door frames like we showed unless you use a specialized extruded tape system like the Gullwing. Lastly, we have the same door 
But on this door, we have TriShield with the Matico Goldwing Z Profile Attachment System to demonstrate how this helps keep the glass in the frame, which is critical in a forced entry attempt. That being said, let's go ahead and break some glass. Okay, so now you've seen our forced entry simulation. Let's talk about that for a second. So in the first window over here, we had full body passage in five seconds, actually 4.91 seconds, okay? That's what you have without any safety film or attachment system whatsoever. Then we go to the same window system with tri-shield uh, attached and we had no body passage and two minutes and 25 seconds of heavy attack with a butt of a rifle and a blunt heavy metal pole and no body passage. This is a, 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 this is a screaming success in our eyes. And again, this is the, this is the uh, superior duty tri-shield option. Then we have the door over here, which we applied safety film on both sides with no attachment system because we wanted to demonstrate how quickly you could get through body passage if you did not have the proper attachment system on, it took 22 seconds to get a full body passage, to get that, knock that panel out of the way and get through. We're gonna look at the door here, which we did. We applied tri-shield and the gold wing tape attachment system. Body passage was allowed, but we more than doubled the time it took to get in there. And we also, uh, our attacker also attacked around the edges because uh, we wanted to see how that would hold up, and that was approximately just under a minute, um, about 53 seconds for that to allow body passage through here. Keep in mind, the average forced entry attempt occurs in under a minute. So if we can hold somebody out for about a minute, then we've done our job to allow the other safety protocols to kick in, i.e. first responders and children or inhabitants to get to safe rooms, things of that nature. So again, this dramatic difference when you apply a proper attachment system to a door versus not having one. So that concludes our forced entry simulation demonstration. We hope you found it informative and educational and now you can clearly see why it matters that you have the proper safety film and attachment system on your doors and windows. Call us today to get your free glazing safety assessment. Don't wait and don't make any assumptions. Again, you can clearly see why this matters. Call the pros at National Glazing Solutions. Take care and have a great day.